So I'm going to show you how to correctly wire up normals um, for Arnold in 3ds Max. So the first thing we need to do is go into the Arnold renderer and we need to make sure that this, the legacy 3ds Max support, is on. Otherwise our substance material will be black. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the slate material editor like this. Then we're going to search in here for a standard shader. Standard surface rather, which is the Arnold material shader. And then we want a substance. So substance, and we're going to have substance one, this one. Next we're going to choose a substance from our library. Uh, Max comes with a library of substance files. And we are going to choose brick three. So uh, we can just wire this in. So we're going to wire in base color to base color. And we get this extra source map node. And let's just drag this over here. There we go, that's better. Uh, we can drag specular into specular color. And we can drag normal into normal. That is not correct. But let's see what happens. Then I need to make sure that I wire my material to my object. So I can do that in two ways. I can either drag this node here, and I can drop it onto my object, which is the plane. Or I can select the plane in the background. There you can see it's selected, and I can just use this button up here, which is assign material to selection. There we go, so now we can render it. And uh, everything seems to be working. Cool. Uh, now what I want to draw your attention to is how the bumpiness appears to be a little bit flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate that and have a peek at what's really going on. So let's, del let's delete these two nodes. And then we're going to re-render. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this frame window and then I'm going to wire it in correctly. So what we should be doing is we should be using this um, special normal bump map in Arnold. And then we wire our normal map into input and um, we wire our output into normal. Uh, let's have a look at that, how that renders first. So straight away you can see that the wall is white and that's because our normals are not bent all across the surface of the wall for one of better definition. But you can see that our mortar is pointing out as, which is strange, right? Because the bricks should be pointing out, not the mortar. So I'm just going to duplicate this again so you can have it for reference. So what we need to do is this. If you see that something's poking in which should be out, or vice versa, then you need to go into your normal map here and you need to invert it. And then we're going to render again. And straight away I think you can see that everything is now much more correct. Okay, so let's just quickly compare our results. So this is the correct result. Uh, this is what it looks like when everything's inverted. And this is what it looks like when you don't fix your normals properly using the special normal map node. You can see this is sharp, it's white, it's a proper color. Uh, this is very faint and this is inverted. Okay, so what's going on? Why is this inverted? Well, let's have a look at the material again. So this is our normal map. Let's open it in the preview window. And it, just quickly do this. You can see that it kind of feels like it's lit, lit from the top in fact, and all our bricks are uh, facing inwards. Okay. And it's a look of the mass that we kind of see the light on these normal map textures. So let's have a look at what's going on under the hood. So here's our normal map texture, and we can run through the different channels and just turn them off and on. So this is our blue texture, and that's showing us all the faces that are facing towards us, all the elements, the pixels as it were, that are facing towards us. And then we have our red texture, and that seems to be lit from the right. Uh, but we're not seeing any of the horizontal grooves. And then we've got our green component of the texture, and that feels like we've got all these bits of mortar poking outwards. In fact, it feels like it's lit from the bottom. Now, if we invert it, suddenly it feels correct, like we've got all the light coming from the top. Uh, and you can see that it's dark, which is uh, useful to know, because actually what's going on is it's not gamma corrected, because this is meant to be a linear texture. So if I just do a little curves adjustment, you can see now when I flip things it remains the same. So this is the trick. Uh, where I'm inverting the green channel like this. 
So DirectX textures, uh, which are used in most game engines, they look like this. The light appears to be coming from the bottom. And OpenGL textures, uh, which this renderer uses, it appears like the light is coming from the top, which is a bit more sensible for the human eye. And that's what you need to know, is essentially is that uh, most renderers need to tend to use OpenGL, most game engines tend to use DirectX. So when you're wiring in substance files, or grabbing normal maps from other locations, you need to kind of just be aware of these two different ideas. So, thanks very much for listening, uh, see you soon.